Dan Hardley, Birmingham's King of the Geeks here. Welcome back to Type 40 for Whovember. I'm here with award-winning screenwriter and director <laughs> Ian David Diaz. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So the reason why I've asked you on for this one, though, Ian, it's because we spoke to Philip Ray not so long ago, if you remember, and Philip is deep into shooting his fan film, isn't he? Doctor Who and the oh, Scorpion. Yeah. Mm. And on, on that very show, you remarked how much you like to seek out fan films and see what people are doing and how you enjoy watching the trailers and all that kind of thing. I say you're going to blame me now, then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you bloody did. It's all on the channel. People can go back. And check. <laughs> so, yeah, I wondered, well, there's a brand new one that's just dropped today as of time of recording. I thought we could sit and, and watch it together and see exactly what's going on because this is, this is a biggie. And uh, the production itself is all time to coincide with the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who itself on the 23rd of November 2023. At the fan base, the Doctor Who fan base, are so so creative aren't they though Ian across it's not just fan films it's cosplay it's it's yeah. comics it's short stories it's podcasts it's YouTube and model making and everything else in between yeah yeah I mean the fan 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 um, films are very um some of them are pretty amazing the kind of visual effects they do these days you know some mm. of it's pretty amazing so yeah I mean fan films are always worth watching as far as I'm concerned I'll try it when I've got time. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, see, I, I would imagine some people do them simply for fun because they've got an idea. They, yeah. want to, they want to have fun with their friends. Other people do it because they're trying to hone their skill and craft, maybe while they're putting themselves through film school or college or something like that. And it's a way of sort of um, flexing muscles, isn't it? And uh, and using new skills and perhaps finding finding one's path into the career, your chosen career. Or it's a, it's a want for being um, being part of something that you love. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like if you, the only reason why you make a fan film was because you want to be part of that world, or the the uh, the creative world of whatever fan, you know, whatever um, um, subject matter or, or fan yeah. thing that you're into, isn't it? So, I mean, I, I'm I'm quite sure that the people who made this one always wanted to play the Doctor. So, <laughs> so you know, so. But, they got their wish because they made it come true themselves, right? So and that's what it's all about, yeah? They've been Doctor Who fan films for a very, very yeah. long time. I think the yeah. earliest one that I've seen dated back to the early 80s, an American one. Mm. Oh, was it? Yeah. With fan films, you've got you've got three tiers, really. You've got, the, uh, sorry, number number three is, is the not very good fan film where you can tell it's cheap and the acting's really bad and visual effects are really bad and blah, 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 blah. Then you've got the middle bit where it's in between where the visual effects are good and, you know, the acting's okay, kind of passable. And then you've got the <laughs> super fan film where they literally build sets and they raise money to, for the visual effects and they actually get stars in them. Do you know what I mean? From, you know, and you've got that. So there's like a that three tiers of, of fan films. Like, like the Star Trek one was pretty amazing. They actually got... Um, you know, was it the girl who plays Perry in, in that one? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Nicola Bryant it's amazing. Is in, it's amazing, in yeah. Star Trek continues. Yeah. yeah. They had a standing yeah. set and everything. Absolutely spectacular. Now, when it comes to Doctor Who, there's one project that has been going, I'm certain this has been going far longer than any other, certainly producing the most volume of episodes at a consistent Right. There's one Doctor Who fan film that I think they started shooting it in the mid '90s, and I still haven't finished it now. But I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not including that. I'm I'm talking about about this. So this is a Dynamic Works 2012, and they are marking 10 years making Doctor Who fan films right now. And DW 2012. It's a series of fan films based. On, on Doctor Who, and initially it starred Luke Newman as the Little Red Doctor. He played that part for four series before regenerating in the time-honoured fashion into uh, Dominic Martin's Purple Doctor. And I'm sure that everybody recognises Dominic Martin, don't they, from various conventions and, and things like that. He's uh, unmistakable, isn't he, Dom, if you're watching, mate? <laughs> So, yes, this fan film series has been running for 10 years now, recently announced on their social media that it was it was a wrap. After five incredible years of working on Series 5, we've wrapped on this series on the 16th of September 2023. It's been a whirlwind of a ride, and we have been so privileged to work with so many incredible people 
this series. And some lovely pictures there of the mm. of the, uh, the cast and the crew huddled together in indoors and outdoors, uh, with mostly with smiles on their faces. A couple of them, look, a couple of them do look exhausted. Bless their hearts. But yes, there there they are. So it's all in the can. It's all done. But what? What was it building towards? That's what everybody wanted to know. And it turns out that they had something very precise in mind that's timed to, to uh, come with the anniversary itself of, of Doctor Who. Now, I've seen a couple of episodes of this fan series, and I thought it was pretty spectacular, possibly the best one that I've ever seen. The uh, the special effects work, the acting, and the energy of the of the cast as well. And then there's, there's Dominic Martin himself. and He always seems to be having so much fun in pretty much everything that he's ever done. We've had him on Type 40, and he was great company. But he's just got this sort of likeable warmth about him. You bumped into Dominic Martin in cosplay, didn't you, once at a convention? I did, but I don't think he, obviously, he didn't write. It was before the pandemic. I've got a picture of uh, me and the rest of the doctors, um, (laughs) and one of them is Dom. So, um, but as I said, I've never... I haven't met him officially met him you know where he knows who i am or anything but as i said i didn't realize i met him until i was looking back at the pictures and and there he was hanging so here you go that's um, it well we yeah. he's very much present again in this so this will be the the finale of the whole of series five i think it's dom's last performance as the doctor as well and they've dropped this tra- this trailer so this was this weekend just gone and uh, the idea is that uh, they want people, they're inviting people from the fandom, content creators, to uh, look at the trailer and to give them our honest reactions live as we watch it. This is months and months of work. They've been filming it all over the country, actors and crew and special effects people to lock it down before it premieres later on in November. So should we take a look at this trailer and see what it's all about? What do you think? Why not? Let's have a look. In celebration of the 60th anniversary and 10 years of the DW 2012 series. Team TARDIS, you are all in grave danger. What did I say? Team T- was that Team TARDIS? I have no idea. I think, I think, he's, I don't know. It didn't sound like Team. Team TARDIS, you were all team in TARDIS. grave danger. Team. Oh, uh, we've, got, team we've got a weeping TARDIS. angel. We've got a weeping yeah. angel here. Yeah. Cool. I like weeping <laughs> angels. I like the colours so far. It seems graded very distinctively to match to match the angel, I think. A crisis is imminent. One that threatens all of time. Silurian? When the moment yeah. comes, Doctor, oh. you will see the moment. Oh, that's the trickster from the Sarah Jane Adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've done a nice job of that, haven't they? You've seen the original, the original character and the makeup. Mm. That's yeah. a pretty good recreation there. Yeah, I wonder if it's CG. Or was it just a, a, a mask? If it is, it's pretty it impressive. Could be a mixture of both. Maybe get them on and ask them. Mm, and there was yeah. a Cyberman there. It looked like a, a mixture of the revenge of the Cybermen and the invasion. Oh, it is, mm. Yeah. I help. We meet again. It's June 14th, 1943. Oh, I'm in the second one. Oh. There was this thing, like a crack. The doctor called it a time fracture. Oh, 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 that's the orange suit, yeah. The orange space suit there from, uh, that we see the, the new series Doctor's wearing. Mm. Yeah. Um, and that's definitely, impressive. that's definitely dumb. <laughs> he can recognise <laughs> his eyes, can you? Quite a surprise. I suppose he could put his, put his afro into that, into that helmet. Yeah, you have to ask maybe. him what product, what product he uses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. glow, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> That unit. Looks like it. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Didn't mean to say that not. It's Jack. It's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> He's part of unit. There you go. No, den, no den Jack. Jackie, like wearing Jack. that hat wrong. 
You're wearing it wrong. First of all, I've... backwards. Second of all, should be at the side, like the anyway. Carry on. <laughs> we don't know what's happened in context. Maybe he's just been knocked Maybe. out. He's just clambered back to his feet, like the good unit <laughs> uh, unit operative he is. Yeah, yeah. This is Jack Debbage, who is a nerd den Jack, and he's also been a, a regular panelist on Type Forty of like brilliant. Oh, God, this is uh, this is awesome. That scene there, that scene's spectacular, isn't it? Watch that again. That's mega cool. <laughs> Do you mean to say that none of this was meant to happen? Oh. Are you safe, though? Yeah, I'm safe. I've got Meg and the doctor. Oh. Oh, here we go. Now that. That's got to be. Do you think that's a callback to the invasion there? Maybe. You got yeah, because they've put there's some Porsche cathedrals in the background. Yeah. Is, is that is that London? Is that a London location? I, uh, I think they've added um, uh, some Pauls in the background. It looks like a vision effect. So it doesn't. Very look like nicely done. There. Yeah. Um, Cyber Men are there though. They really are, aren't they? There's uh, all three of them, all three of them. And again, that's a Doctor Who tradition, isn't it? You know, the, yeah. the Cybermen are invading all three of them. Uh, I'm glad that they're not the the, the stumpy ones. May one God have stumpy. mercy on the sword. <laughs> You're glad they're not the stumpy, wumpy ones. Yeah, the stumpy. I hate the stumpy ones. Yeah. Oh, Dom's in trouble. I hope no dogs have been and done its business in that sand dune. <laughs> yeah. <It's> gonna... <laughs> yeah. Mouthwash for Dom. <laughs> Time deteriorating. Fracturing. This oh, that's cool. I can't <laughs> stop it. Guys, you trust me, right? <laughs> this looks awesome. We have a duty. Oh, hang on a minute. Was that a squareness gun? I'm loving. I'm loving the exploding Silurian there. Looks looks like he's just had a curry. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I really like these Cybermen as well. Mm. The, te the texture of them. I'm not quite sure whether whether that's been augmented with CGI or not. But I, no, I like that. Awkward. Food. That yeah, that's Captain Jack's squareness gun. That now that is uh, Megan. Playing Meg, that's oh. right, who's been the Doctor's long-standing companion. They're fabulous stuff and holds that gun far too, far too well. That's pretty scary. We have a duty to the universe, to time. Fabu <laughs> fabulous effects. Yeah, um, great, really? great, great locations as well. Mm. That's our part in all this. When do we get to have something real? Time is collapsing. What are we gonna do? Get Jack in. Jack, get Jack. He'll save him, won't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, this guy looks very concerned. Very, very. Yeah. Concerned. He's one of the regulars, isn't he? This fella. He looks like maybe he's gone out for uh, a stroll in the woods. He can't find. A, can't find anywhere to take a pee. <laughs> oh. Why didn't you tell me? That's the second doctor. But yeah. <laughs> tell me oh dear. <laughs> uh, uh, not the best not the best wig in the world. No. But the, voice is, the voice is bang on. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think I know who I think I know who that is. Time crisis, November the 26th, sorry, not the 23rd. I do love that logo, really simple, bold. Time crisis. Can you feel the crisis, Ian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that that's it. That's the trailer for Time Crisis, parts, parts one and two there, which, again, stars... Uh, 
Dominic Martin as the Doctor. Dominic G. Martin, sorry, with Megan Shirley as Megan Williams. There we are, Ian. Uh, we've mm. we've seen it. That's the full trailer for this this grand finale to Series Five of this fan series. What what did you think? Um, yeah, it's um, you've got to take it half to them. They they put a lot of work into it, and uh, just, you know, special effects are really good. You know, a lot of lot of kid, young kids can do visual effects now. It seems very. I mean, for me, it's in, uh, I find it incredibly difficult to just to do a lightning strike, let alone ships flying around and stuff. Mod, you've got model work in there as well, which is really cool. Um, you know, you've got to take it half to them. Anyone that can actually achieve anything on screen. You know, a serialized or or a short film or a movie, you know, without the help of um, you know mm-hmm. organizations like funding bodies and stuff. But you've got to you've got to literally say that's you know that you've got to take your hat off to them because that's a lot of people do the talk but they don't do the walk, and it seems like these people yeah. have done the walk basically. So yeah, congratulations to them. That's all I can say. Will it be the easiest thing in the world to watch a trailer like that and to and to hone in? Mm. on on the things that that, that um, one may not have as you say like the budget resources whatever yeah. but when when i see it what i am recognizing there is the uh, a, a competency and awareness of making the whole thing look like it's belonging of itself it all looks like it's this is one version one very complete realization of what doctor who could be would be if they were running the actual real show, it feels it feels like it's got a flavour all of its own. And the episodes that I have seen of this series, I had that from those two, but this obviously being the being what it's all been working towards, you can see that skills have been honed. Probably extra time has been taken over this, and yet yeah, the way the film was graded, Ian, and the effects uh, shot of the uh, of, was it a Spitfire? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know how big that model was, but it was a model. But it was well done though. Because presumably there's models, CGI, and actors in this, and yet it's next to seamless, or it at least all looks belonging of the same world. Do you, do you know what I mean? There's no fuzzy lines anywhere and things like that. Well, yeah, gone are the, gone are the electrical effects, aren't they, the way you used to have fuzzy lines. But, I mean, as I said, right, you know, After Effects, you know, it, it's, it's, you, know you, can, you can do a lot in After Effects. You can create 3D images, you can create 3D, and even now with AI you can create... You can create uh, match shots and stuff if you know if you tell CGI what sorry AI what to create and it will just create it for you. You can literally have a picture or a video of you standing somewhere and shrink it down and tell AI to create the rest of it that's missing and it will do it and it will do it very very um, well. So and plus it looks like I don't know where they live. It looks like they've got access to the woods. You know, um, yeah, some good old, locations old barns and you know, and uh, what is it, uh, warehouses and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, as I said, right, if, if um, anyone that actually goes out the way to make something with very little money, you, you know, that's amazing. I think, you know, that's absolutely, absolutely amazing. So, yeah. following the social medias for DW2012 for a couple of years now, one of the things that's impressed me most is how this team will travel up and down the length and breadth of the UK to go to the right locations, whether it's somewhere precise, like like Blackpool here, and I think that's that's Central Pier, Blackpool. Mm. You can't, I suppose you could look and just shoot it on some other pier, but why not go to Blackpool? And they do, they've been, film, they've been filming in Birmingham before now, so I know they've gone all over the country to um, to maintain the quality of this series. So that's always impressed me, as has that effects work. So again, this is, this is the trickster, we recognise in the Sarah Jane adventures. And yes, it's not exactly like the one that's in that, but it, it looks like it belongs to this version of the Doctor Who universe. It's it's enough to make it seem like the same the same being mm-hmm. in their version of the show. Um, again, you know, I, they, you know, people would make fan films because they want to be part of that world, and uh, this is the only way they can really, you know. If they're not in the business, they won't be part of that world. Although um, Mark, Mark G- Gatiss was. He was in a lot of fan flicks, wasn't he? Before yeah. he became part of Doctor Who, so you never know. <laughs> you never he starred, you never starred know. in some, wrote yeah. some for BBV in the days of of the That's Stranger, right. the yep. Stranger set of releases. So this is yep. the regular cast, but I thought they they were very convincing in that doing the physical stuff and the emotional stuff. I, I think that looks pretty spectacular, and and yeah, the best fan film, the best Doctor Who fan film that I've ever seen. Jack there, 
as and Jack is playing. I've got the name of his character here somewhere. This is Captain Evans that Jack's playing, and he's holding his his gun there. It looks like you don't want to argue with him. If you if he tells you to get back here, you've got to get back. I think that's the the problem with that casting is that Jack is far too young to play that kind of character. Really, let's face it. Um, so, They're all quite young, though, aren't yeah, they? In uh, in fairness, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm just pointing out the the obvious, but um. But yeah, I mean, because it's mostly, um, am I allowed to say kids? Well, they're older than kids, aren't they? Were they? Were they? You know, yeah, they're kids? young, younger, young yeah, adults. Yeah, young, yeah. So it's obvious that they they cast younguns, younguns. But really, it should be a should be a man, <laughs> a full, fully grown, thirty year old man playing a, playing that uh, character. But we love Jack, so we can forgive him, can't we? <laughs> so. <yeah. laughs> Now, I, I thought that was pretty spectacular and it was several notches above what I was expecting in terms of not just the visuals, but the way it was cut together as well. And I absolutely have to see this. I think I'll, I'll be there on the on the 26th. That's the day after the, the specials on the BBC start. But I think I'm going to have to have to watch this and perhaps give it a review or, or something like that. See if I can coax, coax them onto the show. I don't know. But yeah, I, I thought it was brilliant. And it clearly the culmination of five years' work, toil, and, and, and learning, honing skills. Yeah, it's, this, is, this is what creativity all, is all about. And this is probably what Doctor Who fans do best. That's time, crisis. I'm not sure whether whether both of it's dropping on the same day. I wouldn't have thought it would be. They're probably going to, going to break it up with a cliffhanger or, or something like that. I have to ask them about that. But yeah, brilliant stuff. Thanks for, uh, for putting the trailer out, guys, at DW 2012. I can't wait to see what this is like when it uh, when it comes out. Should we play it again, but without us interrupting? What do you, what do you think? <laughs> sure. <laughs> This was meant to happen. Are you safe, though? Yeah, I'm safe. I've got Meg and the Doctor. May God have mercy on us all. Time deteriorating, fracturing. This timeline is what's collapsed, and I can't stop it. Guys. You trust me, right? We have a duty to the universe, to time. That's our part in all this. When do we get to have something real? Time. Time is collapsing. What are we gonna do? Why don't you tell me how I can help you, Megan? Fantastic stuff. Get over to DW2012 and follow them on their social media account 
on X and their YouTube channel too. And uh, like, like the channel, subscribe and hit the bell to get the notifications from them so you don't miss when Time Crisis premieres there on DW2012. Mm-hmm. And please tell them that Type 40 sent you. Ian, thanks mm. for joining me on this one. I know you like a fan film. <laughs> yeah. And there'll be lots more coming up too as, as we celebrate Whovember here at Type 40. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, check you're still subscribed, and hit the cloister bell to get all the notifications about what's going on here. And next, it could be it could be a live stream on Type 40 Live, a weekly live stream there where anything can be can happen, anything can be said, and often is. All there's the Type 40 podcast that's available across all the podcatchers of your choice there. And this is our latest crop of episodes, reviews, previews, interviews, geek outs, and deep dives with all our regular panellists and some pretty awesome guests, including that interview there with Philip Roy, the man behind Doctor Who versus the Scorpion. Fantastic. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is let us know in the comments section, have you been following this fabulous fan series for the full 10 years that it's been running? And are you looking forward to the finale there at the end of November? Will you miss Dominic Martin and his take on the Doctor? What did you think of Jack? there in his in his army gear yeah let us know in the comments section we'll be back for more type 40 in whovember soon